Ja. I'll loosen up. All right. You can loosen your whole hand if you want to get ready for this. Take your finger. You ready? Okay. I'm in right in the middle, likely. And then put a dot above your finger. Put a dot below your finger. And this is how we draw our four sorts of squares. Square line down. Take aim and neatly draw your four sorts of square. Now let's do one more to warm up. Put two dots straight across each other. These are really good warm-up activities, but whenever you want to start drawing, it's a good idea to do some four short squares to get you loose enough, your mind moving, get in that creative mode. Connect the dots right here and make that four short square. Okay, now we're ready to take this four short square and make it a little simple up into a little more complicated one, which is a simple table. Two dots straight across each other. Put the thing in the middle. The guide put that above. Dot below your finger, move your finger, and then take it between the dots. Sometimes I like making sound effects and <laughs> make it more funny for me. Two lines down the side, the middle line is longer. Line up to the right. You match the top line right here. So line up to the right, match the top line to the left. Line up this. Now this is your table top. I'm going to come in halfway and draw a simple table. Draw a line there, draw a line there. And the middle line has to come just a little bit lower to make that near corner look closer to you. Make sure the middle line is lower. Connect the bottom here. Connect the bottom. This is really off a simple thing. And this is a super good activity. This circle right here. That's a good activity to try it. You can't complete that in 30 seconds. I mean, right here, because that's super important to get that. Add some strength. Mark. Left side. Mark. Oh, good to know you today. I am fine, Commander Mark. I have been watching you as you draw your cube and your squares. And I know that in my personal space, I also have similar shape. This will you can I use this for a second? Just give me an idea. Do you mind? Not at all, Commander Mark. I'm taking a look at this. I put these together. This is this box that you have around the painting. Put these together. Take a look at that. Built in about two seconds. The center table is really. I forgot to add shape them. That side all the way down. You know those put together? Really simple shape. Put them in to make a one like this. That reminds me. I'm going to see if I can't do that in 30 seconds. Do you mind if you time me? You have your computer timer, right? I will time you, Commander Mark. Be sure it's no problem for you. No problem. It's so nice. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw a right here. I'm going to see if I can do it in 30 seconds. Watch you see if you can't do it in 30 seconds. You get your pencil ready. Try to do that simple table in 30 seconds. All right, Zeptron's tell us when to go, so we loosen up here. All right, Zeptron, wait a minute. Ah, getting nervous, the pressure's on. All right, wait a minute, we're going to go. Wait, 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 just like you're getting nervous. Okay, get ready, wait a minute. Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? All right, I think you're ready. Get ready, get ready, go. They're crossing each other, but I've got them up. Will my feet? So I panic, I'm telling you when I have 10 seconds left, so I know right when to start. And then, and then I draw a line here. Oh, no. no, no, no. Sorry about that. So you guys panic when the pressure's on. It's kind of exciting. The sport that has it. 10 more seconds. Oh, nine. Wait, don't count a lot. It makes me more nervous. Six. Sorry. Four. Three. Drop down here. Two. One. Wait, two more seconds. Can I have one more second? I'm fair. Can I come in here, Mark? Well, look at I I keep practicing it though. I draw more and more. I'll be able to do this in 30 seconds. If you call, I didn't make it the first time. I'll make it the second or third time. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to keep it simple shape. 
I'm gonna add on to it. We did put together. I'm gonna add some layers. I'm gonna add three little wedding Okay, here's, here's below the corner. Line up to the right in this direction. Yeah, I'm matching this line, I'm matching this line. I took my pencil to line up. I slant it this way. And still rip your paper bag. It's kind of overexcited by my first line. I just the arch. Slant to the right, matches this line back here. We're just going to line it up if you want to. Stop this one behind this one. Yeah, this is the reason I think you should be built it. Right here, start. Put it down right below the middle. Leave a little space. Now, that's not super important. But if you don't put the dot there, sometimes, I'll even show you right here an example. If you don't put the dot there, sometimes it's like too low. You go like this. See how it's kind of distorted? So you look for a short time. You look for a short time. Control this. So I put the dot right below the middle, right here. This is an intriguing idea, Commander. I'm going to play with my feet. That's okay. Go and put them together and put them together or do something real exciting with that. Right. I'll bring the side down, the middle line is longer, land to the right, to the left. And we're going to add these two events to the top of the center. And the second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to let you change the last two sections down in the bike. I'm going to remember how to do this little one. Four, four, seven. Four, 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 Left side, all the way across. Left side. And I'll leave this right here so you can shade the rest. You know, when there's an overhang right here, try making this a little bit darker. That makes it even look like you're loose underneath there and really have that recent shot effect and you can go on the other side over here and do it. And if you have extra time, you can put a dot here and add another layer. All the way up, back in. Bottom, actually. Now, this is a really good layers to practice. You can make one of that just three layers on it if you want to spend all day like that. Now, Draw, draw, draw. Practice as much as you can. Try drawing at about 20 or 30 minutes a day. See if you practice that much, you'd be really, really good. Okay? So that's important to keep in mind when you're drawing 20 or 30 minutes a day is four short I have even reversed the whole thing. I have put it side by side. Whoa. That's how it so strong. Ow. Take a deep breath. Okay, one more. <laughs> okay. This is supposed to be fun. This is activity. So now what are you trying to do here? Commander Mark, I have been putting these shapes in different locations. But Commander Mark, no, no, no. First thing you have to understand, this is neat, I like that red color. There's, there's no right wrong way to do this, the sculpture you're trying to do. No, no, no right or wrong way, Commander. No, absolutely not. You just use your imagination. The sky is the limit. You can do whatever you want with it. I like that, Commander. But what will I do? Why don't you try... Well, first of all, you don't have to shape. Why don't you just put some shapes, put them together? And you can even try drawing on the outside or something. That is a good idea, Commander. To give you some more ideas? Yes, it does, Commander. Okay, while you gather some more shapes together, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to tell everybody how to join the Secret City Club. Each week, we have a drawing and activity for you to do. After you complete the activity of the drawing, I want you to mail it in to me. And when you mail that drawing in to me, you become an automatic member of the Secret City Club. Now this week's activity is to really practice that simple table. Draw the simple table about oh, 10, 15 times until you can do it in 30 seconds. And then take that 30 second simple table and add on to it, build onto that simple structure of some wedges or doorways or pipes or two, and make it into a secret building. And I'll be drawing one later on to put it on the mural and you can see what a secret building really looks like on this add on to the picture. I have some samples here of what some students did they completed this 
Secret City already. Thomas Romero, look what he did. This is a really elaborate shape, score short. He was used a lot in this book. And this is the one that he just did with the Secret City Club activity. I want to show you another one right here. Now this is how Jessica started drawing. See your house right here? That's how she started her simple secret build before she learned that magic word for Dorothy. Now take a look at this. You ready to see what the next one is? This is Jessica's drawing after she learned four short things and really put it together. Now the reason I have this drawing club is I want everybody out there who likes to draw, who likes using their imagination to put it all together and to join the club. So you take this drawing, mail it into me, and become an automatic member of the Secret City Club. I'm going to give you that ad. Secret City Club, post office box. 444 four, four, Moraga, California, 94556. I want you to help me make this drawing club a popular club around. I want to, I want to make the Secret City Club as popular as a rock and roll music, okay? And send me the drawings as soon as you can. I want to go over to the and see what's best on You got a lot more shapes ones that drawing Not at all, Commander. You create a perfect though. So you don't mind if I do something to it, huh? No, Commander. I brought a pen with me, and this is what I was thinking. What if you took one of these shapes, take this yellow, for instance, and what happens if you draw a doorway and a window on the front of this box and you put them together, and you can actually build a three-dimensional secret city, and you can draw a three-dimensional secret city, and you can put it together somehow and glue it together. Show me, Commander. Okay. I'm going to put it on top of this so I can draw. I can draw a doorway. I'll draw an archway, and then I'll draw a thickness on the archway, and then you color the inside in right here. Why don't you take the pen and color this in right here and add some more detail. Color all that in so it looks like they're out shopping or something, but they went out to the movies, like the inhabitants of your sacred city. This will make all my boxes look like real places. <laughs> okay. And you can also, you can draw a window on top if you want to, or what are some other things you can add to it? Use your imagination, the sky is going to, that's the whole idea, is trying to take your imagination and just expand it. Commander Mark, no Commander Mark, I have an idea. I will create the landing platform for flying vehicles in the workshop garage. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get that straight, you're going to create a spot for the flying saucers to land so they can get a planned area. Thank Incorrect, you. Commander. Incorrect. Awesome. Why don't you take this pen so you can draw on it. I'm going to go over and show it and some drawings and get you completed, all right? Now, the Secret City Gallery is a collection of all the drawings that the kids have finished. Now, first of all, I wanted to show you some of these simple table projects that have been turned into. Take a look at this. This is a big roll. It's hard to keep it all together. But this is what one girl, Sarah, she took a piece of paper, she taped them together, so she made an in that by 11 pieces of paper and cut them into strips. And she stacked up simple tables. Now, isn't this incredible? Look, that's a lot of time. You think that took a lot of time? And look at this. It just goes on forever. And she did this all her spare time. She really got this idea of alignment and shading these objects correctly. Now, isn't that nice? I'll even go slower so you can see the nice simple tables here. Nice and dark. Now, if you decide to do something like this, you can use addition tape out of a calculator machine or computer tape, a long roll. Just make sure you get permission from your friends before you use them as their paper. I don't want them to get angry at you for practicing your drawing. For all the drawing. Here's another example. This is what Paul did. Paul got 15 simple tables in a row. So he started right here and he didn't really like the idea of, you know, his line wasn't just quite as even as this long line. He didn't make his middle line longer, so he crossed it out. I think he had a good start. But this is how he ended up doing. He started here at the top, he worked his way down. He running out of room, so he went dead. He said, well, I'm not going to stop here. I've gone too far, so I'm going to curve this around and loop around the side of the paper. I thought that was a really good way to get out of this problem area. Let's look at another example. Take a look at this. This is how Melody started drawing. Nice dot. Put a finger in the middle, a dot above and below the finger. Also, she shaded it. But she didn't come in halfway, and so you do a nice, simple tape. Let me look at another example here. 
Here's what Paul did. He started right here at the top, and he worked his way down. He had a cartoon character here, Harry Joe. He got smaller and smaller. He did the same thing as the other person did. He didn't want to stop, so he just made it come smaller and smaller as it came down. A little cartoon there at the bottom. And there's one more. This one is really loud. We'll take a look at what Tony Baker did, or Troy Baker. He started right here with a four sorting square. He added shading. And he went out to too, but he said, forget this. I'm not going to stop. I'm committed to the cold paper. And look at this. He round and round and round and round. He made a really nice stack of four shorts and squares and four shorts and bottoms. I just put a dot below it. He added this line and he went around the corner. Excellent work, Troy. I want to go and see what Zeb talks to me on his activity. Zeb John, you added the drawing. Look at this. This is a matter of I am very proud of my secret city. I can't. This is just amazing. You just took that idea and you want this hat on. Commander Mark, can I have my pen back? <laughs> if you mind. Not at all, Commander. Where did you get all these materials? Oh, Commander Mark, I collected shoe boxes, and I collected jewelry boxes, I collected gold boxes, and pieces of wood. Yeah, you got I collected a... boxes, and tissue paper, and tissue rolls. Did you get these from your house? No, Commander. I do not have these things in my house. I got them from your house. I got them from my house. How did you get into my house again? That's okay, Zeptron. Anytime you want to get art activities like this, you can do that. You can get them from my house. Oh, Commander, then what I did was I painted all of my shapes right color, and then I glued them. Well, you glued them together. Some, what did you use? Bubble gum or something to stick them together? <laughs> no, Commander. So no. I used the new, but I painted them with a brush and with gray paint and even with marker. And then, Commander, I glued all of my boxes, doors, and windows. I, I, I even drew a flight commander. And you used four shortening you know, that magic word we're learning today. Four shortening. You know, this is just amazing. See my energy tower and sea commander, my landing area, and my solar power panel. Now this is wood right here, so you don't have everything you use. It doesn't have to be paper rolls or paper. You can use other materials. Tin cans, tin foil. You can even use glass. This is an excellent idea for a three-dimensional picture activity. Take a look at that. Now, what do you do? You just put them together, you use some different colors, you get different colors, construction paper, and you cut out different shapes, right? You use construction paper. I use construction paper for my orange cloud. And then what else do you do? One more time. Well, I painted them, and then I glued all the shapes together. Look, Commander, here is an energy bar going across and right there <laughs> my favorite part. A microphone, a loudspeaker, so I can hear and talk to all the people. <laughs> Sound effects too, I like Right those. over here, Commander, I have a secret passageway. I uh, know, it now it's not a secret anymore. Who wants to tell anyone, Commander? Okay, let's go for I don't want to tell anybody. Now, I want you to expand on these ideas we're doing with the drawing lesson and to create your own secret universe, your own secret city. What I have here is I have a giant mural. I love blank pieces of paper like this. I can use a big wall, but you need a piece of butcher paper if you want to do something like this. And I'm going to build a secret city universe. I'm going to start right here with the moonscape, and I'll work on this today. And later on, every day, we learn new words. We learn new words in drawing, like today was for a short thing, and I'm going to use for a short thing on the moonscape. Now eventually, each day we'll learn new words, and I'm going to add these new words to the parts of the Secret City. Like right here, I'm going to add a planetscape for the Secret City universe, and then an underground area, and we'll add some material up here, like trees and, and the pond, and see, I get all excited about the music. It's so much fun. And then also add a, a, ooh, how about a space station up here, and then we'll add some more details to the city. Now, take your notepad and take some notes. You might even want to draw along with you some of these ideas that you can add when you draw your own secret universe. This is one of the funnest activities to start to do. Now what I'm doing right here is I'm going to add to the bottom layer. This is just like the simple table with the three-layer wedding cake. And I just added doorways, and I added a window, and I added an air conditioning unit so the people on the moon won't get too hot. <laughs> you have to cool them down a bit. They have, they have to work hard too if they're on the moon. Now, you can either cut into a building, or you can build out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out right here. I'm going to build some kind of scoop so people can get out of here and they can fly down the scoop. So I'll draw two lines, like up to the right, and they all match all these lines. See, it's very important to try to keep your lines lined up. I'll draw a vertical line, draw a line planted up here. Now remember, the sky is the limit for your imagination. This is the chance for you to create your own drawing. You take your own imagination, 
with these basic words I'm teaching you, and you just go to town and you just really have a good time. And then draw another vertical line right here, another vertical line, another vertical line. This gives me all kinds of ideas what I'm going to do on the planetscape. Also on the moonscape, I'm going to do some craters and maybe some mountains and caves and cliffs and some maybe some moon foliage hanging down here. Did you know that the moon has bushes on it? <laughs> you don't believe me, huh? No, it doesn't really, but on my moon, on the secret universe, I'm going to have some trees and some grass, maybe. It doesn't need any oxygen to grow. So you can do anything you want on your secret universe. It's your drawing. Use your imagination. And just go to town with it. I'm going to show you the left side right here. All the way up. Are you drawing along with me? You can if you want to. You can sketch the little ideas. You might not be able to sketch the whole thing that I'm doing. You can maybe get this little idea of how to make a scoop out of a box and then add that on to the city if you want, if you like the idea. Or you can add some extra detail over here. See, I already drew this dark line, but I want to add something. I don't like a blank wall. I want something to draw there, something unique. So I'm going to put a round window right here, another round window. And around it. It's nice and dark inside. Really dark. Commander Mark. Commander Mark. I was up, John. Commander Mark. What are you doing? I'm drawing Secret City Mural. Now this is this is exciting. Now turn around, you can see the area over here. This big blank area. It looks blank to you, right? Yes, Commander. Well, it's not going to be blank for very long. Just today, I'm going to add something more to the Secret City Mural. Like today, look over here this way. I'm drawing. I'm confusing you. How am I going too fast? No, Commander Mark. I can follow. I'm starting with some simple shapes. I'm expanding. I'm making a giant Secret City building on the moon, a moonscape. All right. And we'll add windows to go into the building, you can build out of the building, scoops. Well, under that looks just like the structure that I created with my boxes and pieces of wood. Same idea, huh? You start with simple shapes, you use your imagination, you expand with what we're learning here today, and you put it together and you make a three-dimensional sculpture. Same idea here is you're drawing three-dimensional buildings on the paper. See, after you learn these magic words, you can go into all different areas. You can go into drawing people, drawing animals and trees and flowers and birds and fish and insects. But right now, we're going to speak with the secret city so fun and easy to learn how to draw these. Now, I'm drawing, why you help me here? Do you want me to build out, like right here, or do you want me to cut into the building, like up here, right over here? What should I do? Well, Commander Mark, how do people get down from the opening to the ground? Blood? That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not just joking. They need rent, Commander Mark. Okay, I'll draw around. I'm going to show you. you draw a part of the line. Look at this. This is a piece lamping up to the right. Now, all these lines line up. What are you doing the whole city to make sure that my line is right? How many ramps do you want? I have three doors. How many ramps do you want? I think you need three ramps, Commander. Sure you want more. You can have 19 if you want. No, I think three would be sufficient. <laughs> you sure? How about 22? No, Commander Mark. Am I getting too silly? All right. I'll get serious again and get back to my drawing the ramps. I just have so much fun when I start drawing. I just go crazy. And then draw these lines up here. See, I'm making these ramps all lined up going the same direction. Does that look neat? You add on to the side of the building, you make a nice corner right here. It's off. It really looks like a rent commander. Draw a vertical line. You know what, Seb Tom? I put a window here, so I'm going to put a window there, too. Right That's a good side. idea. A small little window. I don't like leaving any of these spots empty. I'll probably put a window there eventually. Then I'm going to straight up here. All the way up like this. All the way across and down. And I'll draw another ramp. We just want to like the lines up with all these others. Slant this down. See, they get smaller and smaller as they go away, so I'm going to make this part of the ramp a little bit thinner. And you can imagine what this is going to look like after a while, huh? If I got this elaborate just with the moonscape, look how much room I get to fill up. Isn't that exciting? Every day I'm going to add something more to this secret city building. That shade in here. I'm over here still drawing. Sorry, I don't mean to get so distracted. You know you're a fun person to draw with, Zeptron? Thank you, Commander. You are also fun. You do such a good stick to pick up all these ideas like that. Now, you're able to draw, 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 practice your drawing. Remember I said, try drawing 20 or 30 minutes of a day, and pretty soon your secret universe will look even better than mine. Okay? Remember the magic board for shortly, and I'll see you next time. Zeptron, take this right here. Why don't you try to do that? Commander Mark says, 
Anyone can learn how to draw, and Maryland Public Television now offers a 72 DVD book, Learning to Draw with Commander Mark. It's full of drawings and illustrations of the seven magic words, the 22 special art words, and it knows how to start the local Secret City Drawing Club. The kit also has three non-toxic Commander markers, a Secret City Drawing Pad, Drawing Pencil, Commander Eradicator, and official Secret City Club membership card. Send 11.95 check or money order payable through Secret City Post Office Box 444, Milwaukee, California 94556. California residents add 6% sales tax. Allow four to six weeks for delivery. The WSB.